I'm Andy from Escape to Adventure and today we're going to be looking at crossing the flow and using an active blade with dynamic movement. This has become a more modern style within the last couple of years allowing the paddler to be more balanced, consistent, efficient throughout the movement compared to traditional methods. Let's look at the meaning of a dynamic active blade. Dynamics is the use of motion, energy and force combined with power and movement. An active blade is usually used in three positions, either a driving blade, a fixed blade or a weighted and pressured blade. Combining dynamics and an active blade is key to the movement. Once we have good understanding of the fundamentals of speed, edge and angle for crossing or breaking into the flow, then the next stage is the power stroke. The power stroke should be placed well into the flow from the eddy. It should be your final stroke on the downstream side. This is because it allows you to hold your angle with no spin off the eddy lines as you enter the flow. Unlike here, where my power stroke timing is too early, which causes a bow to spin off the eddy line. From the power stroke, without taking the blade out of the water, we then need to weight and fix it into a position most suitable for the condition. As you can see, I have fixed the blade towards the back of the boat. As the boat starts to turn towards the eddy, I slice the blade more forward and then apply a stern squeeze, which straightens my boat up and helps with the transfer of one edge to the other. This method is better used for easy grade and short crosses. Stuart on the other hand has fixed his blade into a more forward position to keep it more stable and balanced on the wave. And now with the blade in this position it allows him to apply a power stroke to punch over the eddy line. This method is better on bigger grades and more powerful eddy lines. In summary all methods you see here are done from eddy to eddy without taking the blade out of the water. Hence, a dynamic active blade. Now that we understand and can apply a dynamic active blade, we can now transfer the same principles to breaking into the flow. We start with the same moves as if we was about to cross by accelerating out of the eddy to punch the eddy line. We then apply the power stroke in the flow, but instead of fixing the blade like we would on a cross, we slice it back up towards the bow without taking the blade out and let the boat rotate around it. You should now be pointing downstream and I've just completed a break in. In this final clip, you can see me putting it all together with crosses and break-ins and breakouts.
As a coach, here are some exercises to let your students practice and also some common faults you may come across. A massive mistake with learners is their body position, which affects the boat's balance and stabilisation. The general rule is we should never lean back when doing manoeuvres or running rapids. The body should always be in a neutral or forward position, otherwise known as an aggressive position. As demonstrated on this video, by leaning back, especially on the eddy line, results in the destabilisation of the boat and the loss of edge control, resulting in nearly a trip. How many times have you seen that before? Throwing your weight forward also fits nicely with a power stroke. The power stroke should come from a punching top arm and not levering with the bottom arm and body, as this sends our weight back and upsets the balance of the boat. We should also make sure our paddle is vertical and this can be achieved by looking under the arm or over your arm when applying the stroke. As you can see here, I am coaching Kaza to keep a vertical blade. And just as important, making her aware with feel of what should be happening with her feet and legs. When applying the power stroke, you should be driving the same foot as the stroke side forward, as this transfers power up through the legs, hips and body. I'm also letting her experiment with the feel of the pressure of the blade and feet, and how this changes with the blade more out to the side. Here is a great exercise to let your students practice on the flat. It's basically the same movement we use when breaking into the flow and combine most of the skills we have already learned. We start off by holding an edge and then apply a power stroke on the same side. We then slice the blade forward towards the front and draw the blade towards the bow. If your student can't hold the edge very long, then there could be a connection problem. Either they are too loose or too tight under their cockpit. Or there's a fitness problem. They could be lacking core strength. Next, look at the power stroke and the body position. Is it vertical? Are they punching with the top arm? Is the body moving into an aggressive position? In summary, the more you practice these skills, the more autonomous they become allowing you to become a more efficient, smooth and skillful paddler.